main frame computing now what is a main frame computing so in a main frame which first came into existence in 1951 are highly popular and reliable computing machine these are responsible for handling large data such as massive input output operations even today these are used for bulk processing tasks such as online transaction etc these system have almost no downtime with high fault tolerance after distributed computing these increased the processing capability of the system but these were very expensive to reduce this cost cluster computing came as an alternative to mainframe technology see the technology that we see in a distributed computing the mainframe computing is also a similar technology but here this mainframe computing technology has been has been used for massive data handling input and output as well as bulk processing so for that we use the mainframe computing what is the characteristics the characteristics is almost no downtime right it means that it is highly fault tolerant so whatever fault will be occur into the system it will it can tolerate or it can avoid those fault uh, and there is almost no downtime means it would not be down for a fraction of second and it can serve the requirement of the user so in today's uh, in today's world uh, we see these type of uh, servers right so this is nothing but the concept of mainframe computer this is nothing but the concept of mainframe computer here also we have uh, we have systems which may be uh, independent but here it will be cluster put together and become a mainframe computer 